Today we'll be traveling about one to three hours from Boise, Idaho, north along Highway 55 to the very small community of Banks. And then on the middle fork of the Payette River. Although small, Banks is a major access point for whitewater rafting and kayaking, where the North Fork and the South Fork of the Payette River merge. Both private and commercial rafters launch from this site to enjoy a few hour trip on the river encountering mostly Class 1 and 2 rapids. Turning east at Banks, we will follow Highway 17, also known as the Wildlife Canyon Scenic Byway. Nine miles to the turnoff of the Middle Fork of the Payette River Road, heading to Crouch. Crouch is a small historic town located next to the Middle Fork of the Payette River. It is home to several businesses, restaurants, and shops, all within walking distance of each other. From Crouch, we travel north along Forest Road 698, known as the Middle Fork Payette River Road, and discover seven campgrounds and one cabin all located within a beautiful forest canopy. Many of the campsites are nestled next to a creek or river, providing optimal trout fishing opportunities. Ten miles north of Crouch, we arrive at the first campground, Tai Creek Campground. It has eight sites and can accommodate recreation vehicles up to 35 feet in length. The campground is not on the reservation system, and is first come, first served. It is a very peaceful setting under a mixed ponderosa pine forest with plenty of fishing, hunting, or sightseeing opportunities. We like coming up here to ride four wheelers and it's close to town so we can come up on the weekends. We like to go swimming and let the kids play in the creek. But you can sleep in a camper and a tent and a tent. Next, just a mile further, is Hard Scrabble Campground. It only has six sites, all of which can accommodate vehicles up to 30 feet in length. There is no drinking water available. The campground is also on a first come, first served basis. Nearby trails offer plenty of huckleberries to gather in August. Continuing another few miles, we arrive at the Rattlesnake Campground with nine single sites and one double site. The entire campground can be served as a large accessible group site. The group site can accommodate up to 100 people. 10 parking spurs are available for an RV up to 75 feet in length, and this is a great place to have a family reunion. Trail Creek Campground is just a short four miles from Rattlesnake Campground. With 11 sites and RV access of 35 feet, this campground lies at the intersection of Forest Road 698 and 671. It is not on the reservation system and is first come, first served. There are lots of birds, chipmunks, and butterflies to enjoy watching. Forest Road 671 is a good choice, and the shorter route to the Silver Creek Campground, Peace Valley Campground, or the Silver Creek Plunge, if that is your destination, Today we continue our journey north along the middle fork of the Pay at Forest Road 698 to our next stop, the Boiling Springs Campground and Cabin. The Boiling Springs Campground has nine units and a maximum RV length of 30 feet. There is drinking water, a swimming area, and hiking trails that lead to several hot springs. The campground is not on the reservation system and is first come, first served. I like sleeping in tents. I like just listening to the river flow when I'm like laying in bed. Kind of like soothes your mind, you know what I mean? <laughs> the middle fork of the Payette River is often enjoyed by tubers and rafters on hot summer days. There are plenty of nearby trails open to motorized and non-motorized users. Be sure to obtain a free motor vehicle use map from either the Boise National Forest webpage or at a ranger station. The Boiling Springs Cabin is available by reservation only at www.recreation.gov and is a popular destination for those who enjoy soaking in mineral hot springs. The cabin is accessible by car in the summer months and by snowmobile in the winter. 
Constructed in 1934 by the Civilian Conservation Corps, the two-room cabin sleeps up to six people and was originally used to watch for wildfires. The cabin has drinking water and a vault toilet. Guests will need to bring some supplies and equipment to ensure a comfortable and enjoyable stay. In 2003, the Boise National Forest cut a beautiful 70-foot Engelmann spruce in front of the cabin, which was delivered to the nation's capital. From Boiling Springs Campground, we now travel east on Forest Road 678, past the turnoff to the Silver Creek Lookout, which can be visited, and head south on Forest Road 671, arriving at the Peace Valley Campground. This campground is a beautiful, peaceful group site. The five campsites are arranged in an extended circle and can accommodate up to 50 people. There's a small picnic shelter, parking spurs for vehicles 30 feet in length, a vaulted toilet and drinking water. Our last stop along Forest Road 671 is the Silver Creek Campground. This large, fully accessible campground has 57 sites and includes two large group sites. It was totally reconstructed in 2010. It now offers a paved road and parking spurs, drinking water, and vault toilets. The two large group sites included Lodgepole Springs, which can accommodate up to 80 people, and the Cabin Creek site, which can accommodate up to 100 people. Campsites are next to Silver Creek, and there is plenty of ATV riding, hiking, and fishing opportunities. Another favorite attraction adjacent to Silver Creek Campground is the Silver Creek Plunge. It is a privately owned and developed hot springs resort with a large pool, horseshoes, volleyball, basketball, a snack bar, and grocery area and campsites. With the exception of Tai Creek, Hard Scrabble, Trail Creek, and Boiling Springs Campgrounds, Reservations for the other campgrounds and cabin are available through www.recreation.gov or by calling 1-877-444-6777. Further information is available by calling the Boise National Forest at area code 208-373-4007.